ఇంకొక టెన్ మినిట్స్ ఉంది కంటిన్యూ చేస్తున్నాను సో హియర్ సో ఫర్ కంప్యూటేషన్ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద లింక్స్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ద సిమిలారిటీ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఫ్రమ్ దట్ సిమిలారిటీ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ ద ఎడ్జెస్ అండ్ సి మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ స్క్వేర్ ఆఫ్టర్ జనరేటింగ్ ద ఎడ్జెస్ అండ్ సి మ్యాట్రిక్స్ యూ నీడ్ టు స్క్వేర్ దట్ సో దట్ విల్ గివ్ ద లింక్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ సో హియర్ యూ కెన్ గో విత్ దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ యూ హ్యావింగ్ యూ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ రికార్డ్స్ సో హియర్ యూ యూ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ రికార్డ్స్ రైట్ so with that record you can generate the similarity matrix based on this checkout coefficient so how to get this value randomly let me check some values how to get this value similarity between p1 and p4 what is the numerator value and what is the denominator value similarity between p1 and p4 you need to tell one of you need to tell so by so two common elements are there no even p4 uh, what are the common elements one name am common element enti a one enti prayer ma'am prayer so one by what how many six unnaya no? excluding the repeated element yes ma'am yes ma'am so one by six what is the one by six value approximately it will give 0.17 so like this you need to first generate the similarity matrix ikadanta once enduku ochini why because similarity among the same elements is one right they are highly similar this checkout coefficient ranges from 0 to 1 so if at all they are very less similar that, that means there exists no similarity it will give represented with 0 if at all there exists maximum similarity this is represented with 1 so same kind of elements have similarity that's why it is represented with one in the diagonal and why why we are left this place empty already p1 p2 chesam kada ma'am p2 p1 anna same kada yes upper half or lower half of the triangle is enough for this right so here in this step we have just generated the similarity matrix and from that we need to calculate the or we need to derive the adjacency matrix by following some threshold theta by following some threshold theta so here the given threshold is for example in this problem the given threshold is 0.3 then how to generate the adjacency matrix here since the threshold is 0.3 you can left all the values which are below the threshold 0.3 so i can observe that these two values are not satisfying the threshold right so i cannot consider those two values so here I, I, similar adjacency matrix only consisting of ones and zeros adjacency matrix only consisting of ones and zeros so i am going to replace the values which are considered with ones and i am going to replace the values which are not considered with zeros did you able to get this point i am going to replace all the values which are all the values which satisfies the threshold theta with the ones so i am i am ignoring these two values right because it does not satisfy the theta value which is 0.3 so i am going to replace those two values with zero and i am going to replace remaining values with ones so this is my adjacency adjacency matrix so once the adjacency matrix is generated next what to do to generate the link matrix i need to multiply so if suppose this is a i need to perform a into a manually you can perform a into a and you can get this matrix so this is nothing but the neighboring matrix or link matrix or this is the link matrix so i can say that there exist three links between p1 and p2 and there exist two links between p2 and p4 like this did you able to understand how we are generating generating each and every matrix initially we are we have generated the similarity matrix and after that from that similarity matrix by considering the uh, similarity coefficient theta uh, we have generated the adjacency matrix and uh, by using that we are going to generate by squaring the adjacency matrix with itself we are going to generate the what test 
link matrix till now is it clear or not is it clear or not yes ma'am yes so now with this link matrix we need to generate the uh, what that uh, similarity table we need to generate the goodness of measure similarity table we need to generate that means we need to identify we need to calculate the goodness of measure between the each and every point so this is the formula for the goodness of measure so here are the obtained values let me calculate for one value first goodness of measure between p1 and p2 so let me re, uh, let me calculate this p1 and p2 link between p1 and p2 so how many links are there between p1 and p2 in the table three ma'am so in the table we are having three links let me uh, substitute that in the formula i am having three links 3 by n plus m where n indicates the number of elements in p1 and m indicates the number of elements in p2 so here uh, just wait for a while so here initially we are taking two points as a cluster p1 and p2 right so initially we are having the number of elements in uh, p1 in the sense p1 is a point itself right p2 is a point that means we are in the first iteration so in the first iteration each record is considered as a that means each point point or record or object whatever is considered as a cluster itself so here we are considering each point p1 p2 p3 p4 as individual cluster so initially we are only having one element in each and every cluster at the initial stage because we are not merging the cluster set we are in the first iteration only so in the initial stage we are only having one element in the cluster so here uh, number of uh, n indicates number of elements in uh, p1 cluster 1 and number of elements in p2 indicated with the m so i am adding since each each cell initially having only one element that means the cluster itself i am going to add uh, i am taking n as 1 and m as 1 1 plus 2f 1 plus 2 into what is f formula for f 1 minus theta by 1 plus theta so what is the f value just calculate what is theta value actually 0.3 yes 1 minus 0.3 by 1 plus 0.3 okay cheppandi na calculate chesan kochindi 0.53 ma'am total uh, result ah uh, 0.53 yes so here 1 plus 2 into 0.53 minus again n in the sense one right m is also one. so 1 power something you can ignore that 1 power anything is one minus 1 uh, power something you can also ignore that 1 power anything is one so here finally you can get 3 Some two power, what one plus two into zero point five three and that's it. Zero point two into zero point five three change plus one hundred. One point zero six, ma'am. One point zero six plus one. Two point zero six. Yes, ma'am. So here two power two point zero six. Minus uh, minus one minus one minus two. So calculate this two power two point zero six minus two three by two power two point zero six. Let me calculate. Me calculate just a bit now.
ఎంత వచ్చింది త్రీ బై దిస్ వాల్యూ ఐ కెన్ గెట్ టూ పాయింట్ వన్ సిక్స్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ సో ఇట్ విల్ గివ్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ త్రీ పాయింట్ వన్ వన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ త్రీ ఎయిట్ లైక్ దట్ చేసారా ఇదంతా వచ్చింది మెన్షనింగ్ lesser values than 1.35 so as this is the first pair i can consider this as the best pair you can consider this also you can consider uh, this one also no problem because uh, all the three pairs are uh, having the same goodness of measure so i can go with the first pair so initially what i need to do i need to cluster the points p1 and p2 i need to cluster the points p1 and p2 i need to left the remaining uh, points as it is so in the first iteration i need to cluster p1 and p2 okay so next what to do next i need to again reform the table again i need to redraw the table with this new new cluster so this is the original table this is the generated uh, table so p1 and p2 are become one cluster now and remaining points are p3 and p4 so here uh, for uh, this is the similarity matrix so we are already having similarity matrix here similarity matrix or the link matrix we are already having the link matrix for this so by just by adding this so here uh, p1 and p2 is a cluster and the link between this p1 and p2 and p3 p1 and p2 plus p3 you can add these two and here you can these two like this you can generate the new matrix and from this you can able to get the again goodness of measure for each any combination each and every pair so if you go through this if you observe this this is the highest value so i can cluster c1 and c2 with the sorry p1 and p2 is there right this is a big cluster so i can cluster these two records or these two elements so in our next iteration what is my cluster initially p1 is there p2 is there i am going to cluster these two points and left over points are p3 p4 and in the next iteration i am going to cluster these three and left over points are p4 only now how many clusters are there two oh, ma'am two clusters are there so according to the given um, condition they are to generate only two clusters in this example so i can stop this process with uh, here so like this i can generate the clusters with the rock uh, algorithm so we are already having uh, we are also having some uh, algorithm for this uh, structural algorithm systematic way to generate all the things we will discuss in the next class and i am going to stop this session now and in the afternoon session also 2 to 250 my hour is there and i will continue this because we are lagging over the syllabus so i'm not taking that in because it's already beyond 10 so you can exit now